doesn't it ever occur to you that maybe there's too much power in the hands of those who control monetary policy, the power to create the financial bubbles, the power to maybe bring the bubble about, the power to change the value of the stock market within minutes? Uh, that to me is just an ominous power and challenges the whole concept of freedom and liberty and sound money. Congressman, as I've said to you before, the problem you're alluding to is called the conversion of a commodity standard to fiat money. We have statutorily gone on to a fiat money standard, and as a consequence of that, it is uh, inevitable that the authority which is the producer of the money supply will have inordinate power. And this is one of the reasons why I've indicated uh, because of that, and because of the fact that we are unelected officials, it is mandatory that we be as transparent as we conceivably can, and remember that we are accountable to the electorate and to the Congress. And the power that we have is all granted by you. We don't have a any capability whatsoever to do anything without the agreement or even the acquiescence of the Congress of the United States. We recognize that, and one of the reasons I'm here today is to endeavor to, con to convey why we are doing what we are doing. And uh, uh, I will continue to do that, and I'm sure that all of my colleagues are fully aware of the responsibility that the Congress has given us, and I trust that we uh, adhere to the principles of the Constitution of the United States more so than one would ordinarily do.